In this video, we'll talk about reverse stall parking. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Cheyenne from Zula Driving School and let's get right into talking about reverse stall parking. So let me draw you a diagram of parking stall. Hopefully the parking stall that you're parking in, you know, the parking stalls are symmetrical, but nevertheless, as soon as you hear reverse stall park or as soon as you decide you want to do a reverse stall park, put your signal on and pull up so you are perpendicular with this parking stall like so and you want to stop the car when your torso is in the middle of this stall so not your head because sometimes your head might be a little bit more forward than your body but your actual torso should be sitting in line with this parking stall that you're interested in this is step one when you're here signal to the other side turn your steering wheel all the way to that side before rolling do a check around your vehicle to see that it's clear and then you're going to swing out like so and your car is going to go around and you want to stop when I'll get into draw you another diagram here so let's say this was the stall that we were interested in you want to stop when your car has made an angle of about 45 degrees now you might be thinking how on earth do I gauge that? Well, what we want actually is the rear left corner of your car to be in line with this second line of the parking stall that you're interested in. So what I usually get my students to do is I have them park the car, step out of the car, and come around and check this out. And I tell them, I want this line to be in line with that corner. And then I have them get back into their car seat and look out this back window here and from where they're sitting this line hits their window somewhere maybe here in the middle of the back window so let me draw the windows again so they're sitting here and I have them look out this window and from where they're sitting this line looks something like this it hits their car somewhere here and I tell them remember that as the reference point for this car from now on that's how can how they can know when they've made an angle of 45 degrees at this point you signal to the left you put the car into reverse so you get those reverse lights coming on because if you've got someone here they don't know what it is that you're doing because you just signal to the left and then you signal to the right and you went out like this they're like what is this person doing but as soon as those lights reverse lights come on and then now you turn your steering wheel so this is step two I'll draw you step three here like so and you start turning your steering wheel all the way to the left you always hear signal on your brake back lights are on and now you do a 360 check before you roll back that's really important that's what if you go for your road test, that's what they're checking to see. Are you communicating with the drivers? So are you signaling every step up the way, telling people what it is that you're doing? And then are you checking to see if it's safe before you perform that maneuver? So 360 check, looking to your left, looking to your right. That is one step, all combined. And then you actually have to turn around and look behind you as your car starts rolling in. Now, at this point, you want to look at your right side mirror as well and what you're looking for is you're waiting for this line to reappear in this mirror and when you can see in this mirror in this mirror you're going to be able to see something like this you're going to see the body of your car and then you're going to start seeing this line and when you see this line and it's parallel 
with the body of your car, then you straighten out your wheel. So you roll back until you're parallel, and at that point, you straighten out your wheel. At this point, you don't have to do any more steering, so all you have to do is hold on to the steering wheel in the center position and look behind you and complete your maneuver. And just like before, you know that you've gone back far enough when, let's say, you're sitting in your car here, like so, and you've got your mirrors, like so, on each side. Draw an imaginary line in your mind that connects the endpoints of these parking stall lines. And if that line, so these, these, these lines are here beside you. If you see this line, go dot, 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 and it goes under your mirror in that corner, then you know that you've driven back far enough. So that means now the front of your car is perfectly inside the stall. The other way you can tell is when you're sitting here, you should feel like you're sitting in the middle of these parking stalls. So if you feel like you're sitting a little bit further up, then that means you haven't gone back enough. And if you feel like you're sitting too far back into your stall, then you've probably gone back too far. You should feel like you're sitting in the middle. So I didn't draw this perfectly. You should have probably been here, but then again, Nothing I drew right now was very straight. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you did like it, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we have an online video training course where we show you step-by-step -step how to perform a reverse stall park and many other parking maneuvers. And you can find that on our website at www.zula.ca. Thank you.